Mitsu Osawa, an 87-year-old table tennis player who plays at the Fayetteville Table Tennis Club in Fayetteville, Georgia. Mitsu is 87 but yet still is fully functional with little to no limitations at all. Mitsu is defying his age of 87 in his ability to be physically active and with no minor or major limitations at all. And <clears throat> Mitsu is an 87 year old uh, gentleman from Japan and at 87 years of age, he is still playing table tennis, fully functional. His reflexes are sharp. His, his stance is strong. He walks on his own. He doesn't even have a limp, <laughs> you know? He, 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 his mind is, is intact and sound. And uh, his vision is incredible because, you know, table tennis is a fast paced game and you have to have good reflexes to play. And uh, he plays at a good level especially for an 87 year old. So this documentary is to highlight my friend, my, my club uh, teammate, Mitsu, to, to shed light on how inspirational he is to me and not just me, but to uh, the fellow club members because every time we see him, we're like, we, we're amazed, we're fascinated that at 87 years of age, he does this, he does what he does, and he's incredible. And that's a rare gem in today's world. Uh, yes, we know that in Japan, <clears throat> it has one of the uh, longest living populations on the planet. And later on during this documentary, we'll dive into some of the key factors or that, that contribute to Japanese uh, living longer lives and still being functional. Uh, you know, even in their 80s and 90s and 100, 100 years of age. But we'll dive into that later. But I really just want to focus in on my friend, my club member, Mitsu, an 87 year old table tennis player. Incredible man. Dude, you get fired. They're not in it. Like most living things on this planet that we call Earth, most of us age with time. Just like trees, they start off as a seed, then they develop into a small little plant, and then that little plant, as time as time passes, grows into a tree that sometimes bears fruit and then goes on to be a full mature tree and at some point in time it fades or it passes away. Life for, India, for humans is very much the same as most living things on this earth where we age with time. What really counts to me is not that we age with time because we can't stop that. 
that's just how we were built and made by the, our Creator God. However, what we do in between the time from when we were born until we do pass, that to me is what counts. Getting old is, is inevitable in most cases. In most cases. So, we all at some point in time will age, uh, whether it's what age it is, but we age with time. Now, <clears throat> as we age, when we get to what I call advanced age, what counts is how functional you are at your advanced age. And advanced age for me is anywhere like from 65 years of age and, 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 and over. So, <clears throat> in our world today, especially in the Western part of the world, uh, age is viewed, or old age, let me specify, old age is viewed as a negative. You know, the older you get, everybody's killing themselves to stay young or to stay looking young, you know? Um, and, and they're doing a lot of things, not necessarily the right things, to appear as if they look youthful. <laughs> um, but yet still live certain lifestyles that <clears throat> later on we see that <clears throat> that was just really a, a facade. Oh, almost great. Because we see as uh, advanced age where so many older uh, individuals uh, have such limitations, functional limitations such as walking, standing, you know, and doing things on their own. Oftentimes we see older people with wheelchairs or walking canes or limping or bedridden and you know but then there are those individuals who in advanced age don't have such limitations Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. Osawa. can you say your name and what you're going to be doing Oji Yamada. Koji, you're gonna be translating for me today, right? Yes. Because I don't speak Japanese. I wish I did. <laughs> then I'll be able to communicate with Mr. Mitsu a lot more. But I appreciate you guys helping me out today. So this is in honor of a club member who I have a lot of respect for, Mr. Mitsu. What year was he born in? 1916. And how old are you? 87. 87, wow. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Man, you look better than me. <laughs> Mr. Mitsu. Hi. Where are you from? Japan. Japan. And where in Japan are you from? What city in Japan? Japan, Kawasaki, Kawasaki city. Like the motorcycle. Kawasaki motorcycle. Yeah, same name. Same. You've been living in the USA. Huh? Ten years. Ten years? And what's the difference of living in the USA compared to Japan? うん、そう、あの、Awesome. Oh. Now, Mr. Mitsu, Hi. you are in great shape at 87. And please tell me what your daily routine is so I may be able to copy it.
みんなとそんな変わんないけど。うん。まあ、知ってれば、あの、お米だよね。うん。そば、うどん。それものかな。みんなと変わんないね。Japanese rice and noodles. Yeah. Okay, seems like I need to order some Japanese rice <laughs> and noodles in my grocery list. <laughs> Actually, if that, ask him if that's what keeps him going at 87, I'm gonna get me some Japanese rice. <laughs> でも日本にいる時はハンバーガーとかああいうのあんまりほとんど食べてなかったからこっち来て食べるようになったもんねうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
Can he show us a little example of that dance? Can we get a sample of the dance? <laughs> Can we get a sample, a little sample, Mr. Vitsu? Let me see it. <laughs> Go on. That's my story that they give us. Come on, let me see that, man. Come on. Come on, come on. Just two steps. <laughs> Oh, go out, go out there. I got more. I got more space. I got more space. Go that way. Yeah, just walk out there. You can take a break. Just right there. All right, go ahead. Oh, Mr. Mitsu, throw it down, boy! Ha <laughs> Yeah, all right. He can do his dance. Step up and a little bit. グランドチェーンズで、ノーツフォールで自分のパートナー来るので、こういうにしていくわけ。これを音楽に乗せて、その左手と右手っていうのを全部英語で言うわけ。それはあの、よくどうさは全部英語なわけ。あ、一本いい
So, as we come to the conclusion or the end of this documentary, um, what would you say we, you know, you have learned or what we have learned? And uh, I would like to say that I definitely learned that one, stay active, <laughs> you know, and you know, apparently that is one of the keys to success because Mitsu, Mr. Mitsu says he stays active, you know, find something that you enjoy doing, uh, physical uh, activity that you enjoy doing it and make it a part of your life because like Mr. Mitsu, I mean, he's there three days a week, two hours, two hours uh, each day, you know, and all of us at the table tennis, most of us come on a regular basis like that. But even in his advanced age of 87, he is still coming out on a consistent basis. And even when he's home, you know, he has daily routines that he, he does, taking care of his dogs and things like that, the dance classes that, that he is with. So, uh, you know, hey, seems like staying active may be a key to success, you know. And uh, obviously eating healthy is, is good as well. You know, sometimes that doesn't work for everybody because sometimes, you know, yeah, some of us, are, are, some people come with illnesses that you inherit, you know, in your genes and, and that's, that's different. So we're not really addressing that in that sense because, you know, unfortunately those things happen. But the, the, the message is basically is, um, you know, for those who are healthy enough, to, you know, don't just sit back and, 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 and look at old ages like that's it. I ain't much I can do but sit home and take care of the grandkids <laughs> or, you know, or just sit down and watch TV or something like that. And you see a lot of times elderly people look as if they're bored, you know. So if you, if you have an elder or a family member or a loved one that's elderly and stuff like that or getting to that age, you know, encourage them to get out and do things, you know, find gymnasiums a lot of gymnasiums have programs for seniors you know where they can go on a regular basis and get involved in some type of physicality physical uh, activity volunteering at certain you know programs and certain things can also do so you know don't 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 count age as the end because you're getting old you know it doesn't mean that you can't still be productive and do things you know and that may help uh, so I know each individual is different, uh, definitely we know that, but I think these things that, uh, that we've discussed throughout this documentary, I think uh, these are the kind of things that will help uh, or motivate uh, either an elderly person or even the loved ones to say, hey, you know, let's try to be a little bit more active and not just sit back and, and, and let life go. You know, hey, do the best that you can as long as you can. That's my motto. <laughs> You know what I mean? So as we come to a conclusion, uh, I would definitely want to thank Mr. Mitsu for his patience because I've been working on this documentary for a few months and um, you know, I'm always grabbing the camera and grabbing him and taking shots of him and he's always being cool with it, you know, and, and very cooperative. And the same goes to all the uh, club members at the uh, Fayetteville Table Tennis Club, or our club. Um, and it's the best club in Atlanta, and, and I would say that because we're like family, you know. We argue sometimes, and well, we make up, and we love one another, and uh, we're competitive, but we love one another at the end of the day, and it's a beautiful club. And uh, so I want to thank all of my club members um, for their cooperation and assistance, because a lot of them assisted me in this in some ways or the other while I'm taking videos and them playing, and they're doing regular games, so I, I'm sure I was a bit annoyed. But, uh, you know, I'm happy that we've done this and uh, I just wish uh, Mr. Mitsu a uh, happy 87th birthday year and may he see many more just as healthy as he is and, uh, and, and, and may we learn to uh, aspire to be like him and, and do the things that we need to do so at 87 we can still be playing table tennis. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? So. My name is Troy Stubbs, and uh, it's been a pleasure, and I hope you and everybody else who's watching, I hope you learned something. But anyhow, it's been my pleasure.